Hallelujah. Glory be to God forever in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, welcome today to this broadcast. Jesus loves you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Evangelist Atel. I am bringing you a good news today that will strengthen you, that will encourage your faith, build your faith, and even convert you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I will be speaking out of my own uh, my own uh, testimony or my own experience and what the Lord told me concerning the Word of God. He is after the Word of God. He's not even after you. He's not uh, trying to uh, to to destroy you because you have something. Maybe you have some big money in the bank, or maybe you are very rich, or maybe you are very beautiful, or other stuff. No, he is after the word of God. He is just only after the word of God. That's what the Lord told me when I was in Finland when I was doing my missionary work there, and. Uh, I was having a lot of spiritual persecution and I was asking the Lord, like, what is going on? Like, what is really happening? So I, was, I didn't really understand, you know, because it was too much, sometimes even hardly to bear. And the Lord told me it's a spiritual persecution. That was the first time I heard that word, the Holy Spirit told me, spiritual persecution. You know, he said, and then I said, but why am I the only one in the whole world? He said, no, it's because of the word of God. So the devil is after, the Lord was telling me and teaching me that time, the devil is after the word of God. He wants not to steal anything from you, but he wants to steal the word that God has put in your heart. Satan is after the word. So you have to say today with me and say, the devil will not steal my word. The devil will not steal my faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can see how Paul was telling Timothy, telling all the new believers and was saying that, so that they should stand in the faith you know even the fight that we fight is a good fight of faith all throughout what we our work here on earth when we become a believer is about faith and how does this faith come the faith come by the word of god the faith come the the, the word of god is a seed and when it is to sow in your heart that is what brings you faith and that what accomplish what you need on this earth so that is why the word of god is important so the the book of john 10 10 say the thief come not that means he will not come the thief will not come to you that's why i used to ask the lord like there are many people in the world you say they don't have the word of god that's why he will not come there to steal the, the thief come not but he comes only but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. When he comes to your life, he knows that you have the word of God. You know that you believe in the word of God. He believes, he knows that you, you are a child of God. You have received that incorruptible seed, which is the word of God that abides forever. And he will come to steal it. And if he steals you that word, if you if you don't stop him, he will he will continue to kill. And if you still leave him not to stop, you don't stop him, he will destroy. So that's why the Bible says the chief come not be for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ came to give us life in abundance, to flow and to overflow in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So let us go today to the scripture that I want to use and concerning the scripture, what I want to explain. I want to talk today about the parable, that parable of the sower. It is written in the book of uh, Matthew 13. Parables are mysteries, you know. They are very important mysteries that are hidden for the people who are outside, but are revealed to those who are the people of the kingdom. Amen? In Jesus' name. So let us read. You will even hear how the disciples, because the disciples were even asking Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew 13, 10, and say, they came and asked him and said, why do you always speak to people in parables? And then the Lord Jesus was explaining to them, he said, because of the knowledge of the secret, and also you can say because of the mystery of the kingdom of heaven is given unto us through those mysteries. That is how we know what is given unto us through these um, different mysteries. And Jesus Christ at that time was speaking it to us through parables. So let's go now to the scripture. Let's read the book of Matthew 13. We can read from verse 1, let me see from, uh, let's just start from the beginning. It says here, then, there it said, the day came, 
when Jesus Christ went out to the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were also gathered together unto him, so that he went into he went into a ship and sat there, and the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spoke many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, came uh, he sowed some seed fell by the wayside and the fowls you can say the devil that's how he said the fowls of the air they came now and devoured the seed up so some fell upon a stony place where they had no much earth because they had no deepness or you can say no roots of the earth and when the sun came up they were scorched and because they had no roots they were weathered away and some fell the seed some of the seed you can say some fell on the thorns and the thorns sprang up and choked the seed and but some other fell on a good ground and brought forth fruits a hundredfold some sixtyfold some thirtyfold who have ears anyone that have an ear let him hear so god is saying that this is important if you have an ear let you hear what the word of god is saying amen whosoever have an ear let you hear not a physical ear but spiritual ear i hope that your spiritual ear be open today that you'll be able to understand what i'm saying in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth amen so the he continue and he continued to say here and the disciples now came to him verse 10 and say and they asked him they say why do you speak or why speakest you unto them or all to the people in parables and then he answered and said and says because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given that is the people of the world is this mystery is not given but to us who are believers or the disciples of jesus christ this mystery is given unto us to know about the kingdom of heaven verse 12 he said for whosoever had to him shall be given and he that have and he that have more abundance more will be given to you and whosoever ever have not from him shall be taken away even that which he have which means satan will even take that one will be taken away even that which he have amen so therefore speak i to them in parables because they seeing they see not hearing they hear not neither do they understand and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah because this prophecy was prophesied in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, I think, uh, Isaiah 6, it was prophesied in Isaiah 6, 9, and 10. He said, This was prophesied, said that it might be fulfilled, which was prophesied by Isaiah the prophet, saying that by hearing they shall hear and they shall not understand and by seeing they shall see and shall not perceive which means they cannot understand they will not understand for these people had is wax gross and also their faith are also dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed lest at any time they will see and hear and tell and their ears shall be open they should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. But blessed are the eyes for they see. Blessed are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. For verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men shall desire to see these things and shall not see them. Hear ye therefore this parable of the sower. So now he has to explain the parable of the sower. So he says that. Uh, when one man when a man heareth the word of the kingdom and understand it not then come the wicked one which means the devil come the wicked one and catch away or the, the other uh, uh, translation says snatch away or steal you can also say steal away the word of god steal that word that was sown in their hearts then this is which we these are the people which receive the seed by the wayside but he that received the seed in a stony place the same is also a person who hears the word and then he receives it with joy yet he has no root in himself 
and but when do for uh, but during for a while when tribulation and persecution come because of the word they are offended he also that receives seed among the tongues is he also that hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches will choke the world and the world will become unfruitful that means they will lost it or the world will fall away or something but he that received the seed in a good ground is he that hears the word of god and understand it which also bear fruit. this person who received the word of god in a good heart in his heart will bear fruit 100 times 60 times and 30 times that is what the word of God say. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven is given unto us to understand the word of God. So how do you get these mysteries? So you will see how uh, Matthew 13 was explaining it. Matthew 13 and uh, verse 15. He was saying that. Verse 15 says that. That. You will hear the word of God with your ears. You have to understand it with your heart. And then you have to be converted, which means you have to turn. And then the Lord will heal you. So that is how you get this mystery. The mystery, you get the word of God because the word of God is a seed. So this seed, now you have to understand it well first. And then you receive it, you read it, you understand it, and it enters into your good heart. And then it takes roots in the heart, and then you can see the fruit hundredfold, sixtyfold, and also thirtyfold. Amen. So that they say convert means you have to repent or you turn. Because when you see the word, you see the truth. Oh, then you turn and say, Oh, yeah, I did not know about the truth, you know. So now I know the truth because the Bible says you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. So when you see the truth, you understand it, and then you turn. You turn that means you are converted, which means you turn your way of thinking about God. You turn your way of thinking about the word of God. Amen. Then, this, then that is how then you will be healed. Then you understand the word and you believe God's word. Matthew 13, uh, verse 18 to 23 was explaining. He said, if you hear the word of the message, or you can say the, the you hear the message of the kingdom of God, which is the word of God. And you don't, and if you don't understand it, the devil, which means the wicked one, will come and snatch the world or steal it away from your heart. So that is what the devil wants. He wants to snatch the world and to steal the world because the world is equal to the stuff. Because when you can get the word, you understand, and you get that word, it enters into your heart. It is equal to the stuff because the Lord will perform His word according with with science following. You know, He will say like the word of I think in the book of Jeremiah, He said that He said, "You have well seen. I will hesitate my word to perform it." Because God, when He sees that you have understanding, that is when He will hesitate His word to perform it in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, so I said, that, so the devil will send trouble unto you. Tribulation, that is what the Bible calls it here. Tribulation, trouble, persecution. Amen. And then for, for you to choke the world, to make you to be confused, so that you will be persecuted. So when you have the world, you are having persecution. You don't have, you have to be joyful and you have to keep the word. Because that word is what gives you faith. And then the devil will send persecution your way, send you trouble or because on your way because of the word, so that the word will not be rooted in your heart, and then quickly you will fall away, and then from there he can snatch that word from you. The other uh, part, the other part says that the cares and worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth will also choke the word. Or you can say choke the seed. The word is the same, is equal to the seed. So you can put them in the same place, word and seed. So cares of this world, worries of this world, of this life, deceitfulness of this earth will choke that word and then it will make it unfruitful. That is what the Lord told me in Finland. There was the, there are times that sometimes I will be so be tempted with the cares of this world, 
tempted to go and work to get much money the lord will just tell me sit down there and rest just depend on my world sit down there and i have seen so many times that through that obedience that i sat down just to read the word of god and to forget all the things that is in the world and all the cares of the world i will see how that word that i just sit down to to store it in my heart will deliver me and deliver the people around me it's amazing god is amazing so that is what it is so if you are not persecuted if you are persecuted and you are troubled you have trouble here and then you don't have to be worried because the devil wants to steal the world from you amen in the name of jesus Christ, you have to keep believing and keep holding on that word and on that seat which is in your heart in the name of jesus christ so uh, another thing is that you have to get get rid of cares and worries deceitfulness of wealth that will choke the world and make it unfruitful amen and then the another the seed that falls on the good soil they said the seed that falls on the good soil is the one that hears the word of god and the person understands it and he or she will produce a crop which is a hundredfold, sixtyfold, and even thirty times of what they have sown. Amen. You will produce sixtyfold, hundredfold, and even thirty times from the seed that you have sown. The book of Isaiah was explaining Isaiah six verse nine and ten. It says that go and tell these people, hear you indeed, but you understand not, and see you indeed, but you perceive not make the heart of these people fat and their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and be converted and be healed so how do we get this mystery this mystery only comes it was prophesied in the book of Isaiah and then the Lord Jesus Christ himself now revealed it again in the book of Matthew 13 and talk about this parable of the seed which is the word of God he explained again so this he was so how do you get this mystery he was explaining that when you hear you know so you have to first see it with your eyes that is reading the word of God you have to hear it with your ear because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God it through your ears because those are all the gateways your eyes your ears and your mouth then you understand in your heart because it's so the seed have to be sown in your heart and you understand it in your heart amen and then you will be converted and then the Lord says then I will heal you because when you the Lord sees the word now in your heart in that good ground he said I will hesitate my word to perform it amen in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that is how we get that mystery Faith comes by hearing and understanding the word of God. Romans 10, 17 explains. So if you read the book of Romans 10, verse 8 and 9 says, The word of faith is in your mouth. And, in, and it says that the word of faith is in your mouth and in your heart. So you confess with your mouth and you believe it in your heart then you shall be saved so if the Bible say if you confess with your mouth that jesus christ is lord and you believe in your heart that god have raised him from the dead you shall be saved because the word is in your mouth and even in your heart amen the word of faith then you shall be saved is the same procedure all over again if you believe in healing you know that jesus christ took your sin on his own body on the tree on the cross and that you are dead now to sin that means you are not accountable to sin anymore and you are living now unto righteousness by his wounds you shall be healed so we, when you believe that word and know that salvation is a zozo is a package that jesus christ went to the cross to bring us salvation which means forgiveness of sin healing deliverance restoration and a new life if you believe that in your heart you confess it with your mouth you shall have so whatsoever you said that's what the bible says mark 11 verse 23 you say if you say to this mountain be the removed because the confession of your mouth all works together with what you believe in your heart so you have to believe it jesus said have faith in god so you have to believe in your heart say if you say to this mountain be removed 
and be cast into the sea and you have no doubt in your heart you shall have whatsoever you say so the believing and the saying part is together so it's very very important so you have to believe in your heart and you confess it with your mouth and then you shall be delivered is the same equal is the same is the same thing you is the same thing with healing with deliverance with restoration with prosperity so you find the word the seed you can say you now read it you store it in your heart and you now declare it with your mouth you shall have whatever you say amen the lord says that put me in remembrance declare thou so that you shall be justified so you put him in remembrance you put him through his word through his mysteries through the parables through the word of god he has given it unto us the church the body of christ this was hidden before the foundation of the world but the bible says now in the book of ephesians that he has now revealed it unto the saints he has now made it open to us all the mysteries of god is now open to the saints the children of god and that we get it through the holy spirit the holy spirit is the one that reveal unto us all things that belong to us and all the mysteries amen in the name of jesus so the devil's job the devil's job is just to steal the world the world is his target he wants to steal the world because if if you have the world you equally have the stuff because the Bible says the word became flesh. Amen. When God was creating the whole universe, he was using the word and said, let light be. And he saw light. He said, let this be. And he said, because the whole universe is created by the word of God. So when the word is equally to the stuff, the Bible says, and the word became flesh. Amen. The word became man. So the word is equal to the stuff. Amen. If you, is the same with healing. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ told me in Finland when I was very sick, I was persecuted and I was very sick. He told me, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. And immediately when he told me that on my dying bed, I believed that word and I woke up from that bed two days after. I start feeling like never before, start feeling with strength and all that. Two times he gave me that word in different occasions where the enemies and the Satan and his kingdom, they attacked me, persecuted me and, you know, threw me all kinds of causes, sickness and disease in Finland and all the warlocks the shamans and the witches the joint forces against me but the lord delivered me told me i am the resurrection and the life and i believe the word so the word is equally to the stuff as he said that i know that i will be resurrected i will raise up from that bed amen in the name of jesus christ so you have to believe the word because the word is equal to the same stuff no matter what kind of situation that you want in this earth, you have to find the word that is the same like the stuff and you put that seed in your heart and declare it with your mouth and confess it and let it be rooted in a good ground and you shall have whatever you say and what you believe because the lord will always hesitate to perform his word with science following in the name of jesus the word of god is a seed amen in the name of jesus so whatever we need on this earth so we sow that seed we get the word what we need we sow it whether it's for our families whether it's for marriage whether it's for finances whether it's for health whether it's for prosperity in every situation the word of god is full packed with all these mysteries the word of god is there so you have to take the bible you have to search the world and then put that seed in your heart amen for it to take roots in the name of jesus christ then you shall harvest hundred four sixty times and even thirty times or you can say thirty four in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you shall have for you will sow what you sow you will harvest if it goes in a good heart and it's rooted dried down you will have you will receive you will harvest you can say you will harvest hundred four sixty and thirty four in the name of Jesus Christ what you have sown in the mighty name of Jesus. I hope this encouraged you today. In the name of Jesus. Just take your time. Go to the book of Matthew 13. And read again also about this parable of the sower. The Bible says. There are the mysteries that God gave unto us. Who are the children of the kingdom. For us to know exactly all these things. So the word of God is the seed. So you have to put that seed in your heart. To take good roots in the ground. No matter the affliction. No matter the tribulation. No matter what kind of persecution 
situation you hold fast on that word and then you will always see the result in jesus i have seen that many times what god taught me this one-to-one -one. i've seen it many times where all kind of battle and all kind of stuff i stand on the word of god i stand on the promise of god i declare day and night i told the lord i say everything will pass away but your word will not pass away because you have exalted your word even above your name and i am standing on this word and i will see god always come true in his word he can never deny his word amen he will never deny his word he will never deny that seed that is sown in your heart that you believe and you know no matter what what is shaking for me many situations with with health situation i stand on the word of god i declared in the physical i declare even in my dreams and my vision to which it i told them i am healed i am healed jesus have healed me he has forgiven all my iniquities he bore all my sicknesses i am healed from all diseases jesus loves me he has forgiven my sin i am healed i am blessed amen in the name of jesus you declare the word of god you take the word of god that is in any situation in our life you declare even if it's a dead situation amen the jesus christ even said in the book of matthew i mean uh, i think john 11 he was telling a uh, matter and said haven't i told you that if you will believe me or believe my words uh, amen you shall see the glory of god so you have to stand in the word of god and believe the word of god believe it no matter what is shaking you stand on that word like a like a rock like a like a like a rock not your house is not built right on the sand amen that the the water will wash it away or the storm will blow it away your your your, your life and your house is built on a rock and which is that word of god is a rock and jesus christ is a rock amen in the name of jesus everything will pass away blow away and the word of god will remain forever in the name of jesus you stand on the word of god so that the devil will not steal your faith because your faith comes through that seed and through the word of god amen in the name of jesus so that the devil will not steal anything from you you stand first amen in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ glory be to god forever and forever in the name of jesus christ father in jesus name i pray today in jesus name that this word of god will go deep root in the in the hearts of everyone that listen to it so that they will understand the mystery of this parable of the sower that of the seed that the seed is the word of god and this word of god is what brings faith in our heart amen so that you can perform your miracles in our life through the word of god through that seed that is in our heart because you are faithful you say that when you see your word you will hesitate to perform it in the mighty name of Jesus. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all day long. Thank you, brothers and sisters. If you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, today you can give your life to Jesus. You can just tell the Lord Jesus and say, sorry for my sin. I repent, Father, in the name of Jesus. Wash me with your blood. Make me a new creation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Lord will be happy. The angels of heaven will be glorifying God. Amen. That one soul is saved. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I also pray today in the name of Jesus Christ that if you have not subscribed in this channel, you can subscribe below leave your comment leave your prayer request anything that you want to know about this my ministry and about the work of God in the name of Jesus Christ and if you 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 need help in any way I'm there in Jesus name the Holy Spirit is there to help us in Jesus name glory be to God forever in the mighty name of Jesus thank you for tuning in today I pray that God encourage you with this word in the mighty name of Jesus God bless you I will see you in the next audio or in the next Next video in Jesus Christ mighty name and the title of this this uh, of this or uh, this video or this audio is that Satan is after the world to steal the world amen in Jesus name and don't allow him to steal your world in Jesus name hold fast on that world that is what gives you faith in your heart to move mountains glory be to God forever in the name of Jesus God bless you brothers and sisters in Jesus name